What's happening, guys? I'm Dave. And I'm Danny. And we're back with another craft beer review. Today, guys, it's bringing founders to the table. This is the Mas Agave grapefruit mm -hmm. version this time. So this is the second uh, form of their Mas Agave. I think the first one was like a lime, mm -hmm. lemon. I can't remember. Lime tequila. I, can't remember. I, don't, I don't remember what it was called. But it was Mas Agave something. And it was lime. It was limey mm -hmm. tequila. And it was so good. Uh, Imperial Goza style ale brewed with grapefruit and agave aged in tequila barrels. Awesome. 9.7%. This is the 2020 release. And to the back we go. The cocktail inspiration lives on our Imperial Goza is brewed with agave and sea salt before being aged in tequila barrels. But it doesn't end there. Once it's pulled from the barrels, it gets a dose of fresh grapefruit juice to ramp up the tanginess and to pay homage to our other favorite tequila-based cocktail, the Paloma. Sweet, salty, and mouth puckeringly delicious mas agave grapefruit packaged on four nine twenty. So, mm -hmm. um, going on two months, not quite there, but oh wait, no, oh yeah, it'll be June 9th and like, like a week or so. Yeah, week and a half, whatever. It's less than two months old. We're cracking into it, guys. It's nine point seven percent, like I said. Um, it's it's more like a cocktail, I think, than any mm -hmm. kind of beer. It's that's why like founders is crazy. They've been sold and rebought several times now and now uh they've gone through a lot this past year but i think they still make world-class beer and that's just obvious so i forget how much i like palomas too well i guess you're about I to forget. find out what's going on here Ooh, that's interesting pretty. interesting that is a dark burnt orange super burnt orange um mm -hmm. it looks like grapefruit juice for sure like with with more tangy orange in there yeah looks like it has good carb solid carb really nice head on it even being right under 10 percent um nice bubbling kind of like a creamy layer of like dawn soapiness mm -hmm. yours doesn't even have it because you didn't really pour it yeah i can't um, was gentle but it's got like a hint of like pink but definitely this burnt orange mm -hmm. kind of like clementine vibe yeah. to it sunset like deep sudsy. dark orange Soapy sense. it is so aroma probably gonna be nice wow that smells weird it I probably wouldn't wow. guess um, that is grapefruit weird. off the nose. No, it's like uh, it, it, probably, it's like sea salty. Um, I don't know if I would even have guessed tequila. I mean, I'm not a tequila drinker. I don't know what that reminds me of. There, it's something that I can't pinpoint. It's almost like... um. You got to think of it because I can't. No, it's like a burnt sugar, like a creme brulee. Like the yes, top. that is so well put. <laughs> yes, that's why you're here with me right now. That is exactly what it smells like. Burnt caramely. When, yeah, uh, when you take a the sugar. Torch. Yes, it's for sure. Torch creme brulee with like a hint of grapefruit on top. That's what, exactly what it is. You've taught me well. I have, but there is like this burnt <laughs> caramely sugar vibe to it for sure. I didn't expect that. Um, wouldn't have guessed tequila, wouldn't have guessed grapefruit probably right off the nose. That's a tough one, blind. I know. That would have been just, uh, that would have sent my mind through like a, a, a spiral. I mean, because I, I, I wouldn't have known yeah, what I was smelling. Yeah, it's kind of like a caramel. It is. Yeah, like a sweetness. But it I is, it's like a fermented caramely sugar, like Paloma. I, I don't even know, but I just know Paloma because it's yeah. in the description. Um, wow, this smells weird. I know, um, I'm like, not nervous sure Nervous to, to sip it. I so know. I guess this is the Masagave grapefruit. Let's hope for the best here. Cheers, founders. Cheers. It's so sweet. That is unreal what that flavor is. Right off the bat, though, give it to Founders. That flavor, I would have never guessed is a beer. Never. That's not no, even a beer. Like, it's tart. Wow. It is super it's tart. It's sour. It makes yeah. you pucker for sure. It's got this burnt, caramely, mm. like grapefruit sugar vibe just mixed together. It's crazy. It's thick it's super viscous um mm -hmm. the sweetness on the back end is huge it's abrupt it's sharp it'd probably be so frowned upon but i just want to drink this like on a bunch of uh, with like a bunch of ice. yes but that's what this is i mean the masagabi yeah. series is like cocktails they're cocktail inspired that's what this is tequila barrels it's it's um it doesn't really point in that direction at first. I mean, like, I wouldn't have really mm -hmm. known it had I not read it. No, I would have probably guessed it being, like, kind of more of, like, a funky sour beer. Mm -hmm. I... But it is a cold. 9.7%. I do not 
taste like it, there's no burn it's ice cold let's not let's just tell them it's ice cold out of the fridge and you said maybe we were supposed to have it a little bit more like room i mean you or? get more flavor this is i think it should be enjoyed cold but you get more flavor um this is crazy flavor i mean mm -hmm. flavor for days and days cocktail if i did this blind i would have guessed cocktail um it's it's got a sea saltiness to it with this yep. goza style coming in proper it really is yep but it's on steroids. I mean, it's hyped up. There's a caramely maltiness to it. There's a thick, viscous vibe. Um, Off the of the smell, I didn't think I was going to enjoy it. I thought it was going to be, like, super boozy. It's caramely um, salt. But, like, I just thought, I was like, it's probably going to have just, like, a bite to it. But it is so smooth. It's sweet, but it's, like, so smooth. Like, you cannot tell it's 9.7. No, that is insane. That is so dangerous. Um, it's I, Masagave to mm, me is in its own tasty. class. This is two times now that Masagave has stumped me and I've put it into its own class because mm -hmm. I cannot rationalize what kind of beer this is. It literally has to stand alone that I, I can't rate it based on any other beers I've ever had besides the last Masagave series. So the same shock factor is hitting me with the Masagave grapefruit as the other one did. That's um, dangerous. It's, though. it's fantastic. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's like, just, it's a cocktail. It definitely, like, definitely salty, like, but sour, puckering. Like, it's good. It's tasty. So you're literally getting, like, salty, sweet, uh, a tartness mm -hmm. all mingling together. Uh, and it works really well, this flow of, of flavors with the Paloma kind of like grapefruit juice. I mean, it's juicy. Yep. But it, but it's overripe. It's it's fermented sugar, caramel burntness. Uh, I keep going back to this caramel, this creme oh, brulee yeah. thing. I don't know why, but that, that just like, makes perfect sense. That like burnt top caramel. Is, it like, is. I mean, it's yeah. it's like unlike any other flavor, really, you're going to ever get out of a beer. It's not, you have to put this on its own. It's I in its own category. Much. Yeah, if, if someone didn't like this, I, me and you don't like sweet things, but this is fantastic. Yeah, I feel like... Like, as far as drinkability goes, like, I feel like I just could keep drinking it. Like, I want to keep going back to it. I think because of the, like, sourness and, like, sweetness. After a couple, I probably would, like, it wouldn't maybe agree with my stomach after, like, a couple of them. But I really do want to just, like, keep drinking it. This, for how high the ABV is, it'd be fantastic on a hot day. It's oh, so yeah. refreshing for being this thick. Uh it's just it's so viscous i mean it is mm -hmm. the way that's going down though is almost like it's like five percent or the, i mean oh, i yeah. just mean the way it's it's tr it's so chuggable. Alcohol. yeah i mean it, it tastes like a big beer or like a big cocktail you can tell it's it's got some booze to it it's boozy but it's not boozy in, in the same yeah. token there there is no burn that does not exist in this beer um i don't even know if i can call it a beer I know. It's like... Masagave Grapefruit like Founders, you nailed it. Knocked it out of the park. Crazy good uh, flavors that just mesh really well together. What are you going for rating? Um, probably going to go super high because yeah, it's, it's, crazy. it's different yep. and I'm yep. really enjoying it. Um, I got my number in my head. Okay. This is barrel age, by the way. Remember that. You don't... Danny doesn't like barrel age beers. Let's just throw but, that out there. Um, I enjoy sour barrel aged beers a lot of well, the that's sours what this is. i know but i'm saying but like as far as yeah like stouts big yeah, stouts, stouts I'm, is that my so idea. what do you think i'm gonna go pretty far. i'm probably gonna say like four four out of five dang you you literally read my freaking mind i had <laughs> i'm dead serious i had four four i'm not no matter what you said no i was gonna go four four and i'm dead serious not changing my story Four four across the board. I think that's a really proper, uh, honest answer for what this deserves. I, it's in its own category. I'm, I'm stumped. It's Masagave grapefruit. Um, compares to nothing else. So that's where we sit, guys. Four four founders. You guys crush this one again. Don't know Get how your I can. Hands on yeah, some. you should. I think this is going to be a, a, a. It's going to be one that's hard to find, mm -hmm. maybe. But even even if you find it. It's not going to be there very long, I don't yeah. think. Maybe they mass produced it. We'll see how long it's on the shelves, guys. I'm Dan. And I'm Danny. It's been another beer review and a really, really tasty one from Founders, guys. I will catch you guys on the next one. Cheers. Cheers.